What's going on guys, I'm the Gaming Union and welcome to Gold Rush the game. Uh, in case you guys don't know, uh, Gold Rush is a TV series on uh, Discovery and I've been watching it. I don't know, I just, it's just this, this thing with gold. A lot of people have this, like they want to look at gold being extracted and stuff, and stuff like that, you know. So Discovery has a show called Gold Rush and I'm guessing, uh, from what, I've, what I know, this game was actually being developed uh, through, you know, Kickstarter sort of a thing. And then Discovery came in and they, they invested in it and then as well as you can see there's a logo, there logo over here. So this game was developed by Code Horizon um, and it's a it's a pretty fun game. You can click see credits and stuff. So you can, uh, there are settings and stuff. Uh, I want to say that game is pretty, pretty fucking amazing. But the thing is, uh, there are still a f few bugs, like a few annoying bugs, that's what I'm, I don't have a problem with bugs, but the bugs that are, exist, we may encounter those, so you will see, the kind of bugs you see are very annoying, annoying sort of bugs, so let's just get into the game and you'll see, the game itself is freaking amazing, if you wanna buy, if you are a fan of Gold Rush, definitely buy this. And if you are a fan of simulations and driving, yeah, driving these big ass awesome machines, you should definitely, definitely buy this. What is this? Press F5 during the game to quick save and F9 at any time to quick load a game. Ooh, and also look at this beautiful uh, artwork. If I had bought the premium version, I would have gotten these. Uh, but I was, I was, I thought I was gonna get a book or something, but then I realized that no, it's not a book, it's uh, digital art. Which is good and all, but I don't want to pay like more than 50% of the price of the game for that. Also, the game is kind of heavy. It requires 16 GB of RAM, which I have. But since I'm recording, I don't know what effect it will have on the whole thing. So basically, in case you guys don't know Gold Rush, where you you basically are looking for gold, right? You go, you're a gold prospector. You're digging out gold. I don't know how it's going to happen if it's... Oh man, okay, okay, okay. Let me check something if I'm recording or not and if the game is being recorded. Yes, the game is being recorded. Lovely. All right, uh, I would actually, I want to put on my, uh, what do you call those, headphones for this because I like him. I like this game. Uh, and I want to hear the sounds and beautiful sounds. Also, actually, I want to turn the sounds down because I will get copyright violations and I won't be put, able to put ads on it. Oh my god, that would be so bad. Ads are life, ad, ads are love, ads are life. All right, <laughs> uh, there are two ways of getting uh, info. So basically, you have you, know, you can what, what do you have to do? It's, it's all written in here. There are videos over here which you can click and it will show you what to do, what not to do. And there's the channel that tells you about the what you need. It's like it's pretty much telling you go to the bank, rent, rent the place where you're going to dig for gold and stuff. Go to the warehouse, buy these things, load the truck, pick up and go to the claim and start doing this shit. So I want to start from the beginning. So here we are. We have our truck. Let's go in here. Hopefully it doesn't lag and shit because I have turned the graphics a bit lower. Uh, whatever, let's go. Although you can't really see the difference between low and high in the game. Okay, so Z are the controls and unlike other games, you have to... Uh, okay, I want to switch cameras but okay, it's lagging quite a bit. Not responding, yeah, this is not good. I'm gonna have to take it slow. So X is to start the engine, release the handbrake and then go. So we go now. Uh, where am I? Where exactly am I? Okay, I'm entering the town again. This is the warehouse where you can buy stuff. But I will come back here and buy stuff. I have $224 right now. And first and foremost, we need to rent land where we will dig for gold, right? Stop, put our handbrake on, turn the engine off, get out of the car, and go over here. And you rent. There are three parcels available, lands available. Uh, river, uh, first one is Arnold, uh, uh, old Arnold parcel, which is this is important expected amount of gold low. And then there's uh, River Town, medium, and then there's high. But the 
all of these have like provision of rent 35% of your gold you make 30% of your gold you make 20% of your gold you make and this is like smaller this is a bit bigger this is even bigger and so obviously we're going to start with this uh, small uh, this small one we're not going to buy it because obviously we don't have the money for it we're going to rent it rent it and you can take the loans if you want you have you can have the stock price you can i don't see most youtubers doing this but you can actually keep your gold with you and you only sell it when it's on the when it's rising kind of like you know how you do it in stock markets and stuff okay let's reverse and go over i've been playing the game for quite a bit like yesterday i was playing the game almost i played the game throughout the day to get used to all the driving and stuff because early on i was having trouble uh i don't think we need anything let me just go in and see if we need anything uh we have a shovel we have a hawk pan uh, those are the initial things i want to show you guys like later on we're gonna buy stuff uh i don't think i need anything let's just get out of here and start digging and stuff okay we need a bucket yeah yeah thank god i remembered we need a bucket uh maybe maybe four buckets would be good four buckets thank you uh, you'll find your ordered stuff okay so it's basically telling you you have a certain amount of room like over here this is the place where they put the stuff you bought but this place space is limited so when you buy stuff make sure you clear it out before ordering new stuff that's what it is and don't worry if you don't clear it out it won't like uh, all the things you buy again won't disappear you won't be able to buy them First, you have to clear out, clear this place out. And I wish you could stack the buckets and stuff, things like those. It would be good. It would be like really nice. Because carrying these one at a time is kind of annoying. Also, maybe in later stages you could, I don't know, hire someone to do this shit for you. Okay, let's go. Since I've played the game, I know where the Arnold Pass is. You go left from there, left or right side. Right from here, turn on the differential lock when you are uh, going uh, and turn this side. And I don't exactly know what differential does, but um, it doesn't. I, I absolutely do not see the difference in that. But it keeps telling me that turn off the differential when you are when you are on asphalt. So I'm guessing you should turn it on when you are not on asphalt. Okay. Uh, Game is very, very, very addictive. If you are a person like me, for a person like me, this is very addictive. And also, I actually was not gonna do the game, but I, I know I, I was watching someone who was annoying the shit out of me because the way he was doing things, you're not supposed to think. I mean, you can play any any way you like, but you know, there's a lot of people watching him, and people are gonna think that that is the way you do it. But it, even in DigiTube, the tutorial sort of a thing it shows you what to do and the person was like doing it completely wrong i mean i don't know i don't know maybe when you're recording you do it. also he was trying trying to churn out the video as soon as possible because he needed the views and stuff whatever so i understand like i'm doing this like the game's been out for a while now it's definitely definitely not me and i don't know if i'm gonna get any views on this or not but i don't really care i'm just i play games because i want to play them but for those guys it's like a it's like a job so they have to be ahead of the game in the world. so this this is something we we'll need this is a thing uh let's come out here i generally put it over here over here and some people for some whatever reason they keep it inside but you don't really have to keep it inside you can put it anywhere you know Although on stable ground it's much better to have it on stable ground. But this is like slanted. It's better to have it on non-slanted ground and clear space. That's why I'm guessing people have some people are doing it. So you need that and you need this thing. This thing gets stuck sometimes. I the first time I played it, the this thing, this pan got stuck in the tent of the walls wall of the tent. So 
put over here this, this the game is a bit buggy so you need to be careful what you do so uh, we need buckets right yeah, let's go okay, out buckets. so don't muck around like i generally muck around in games i don't want to muck around here i guess shit happens a lot of strange things happen so it's best not to mess with it so you take the bucket right also i've switched the controls so since this this mouse has like extra keys so i've switched them to like switch to we have hand a shovel and a uh, work light so i've used uh, i've switched the set uh, the controls over here which you can do most people are not doing it for whatever reasons so you can do it over here. Uh, okay so switch to shovel and basically right now we're going to just shovel uh, we need a round uh, 600 would be good. 600 would be this one. This that was a waste. Uh, you take this and you go over to the hot pan. You put this in the hot pan. Okay, put this over here. You take this. You go over here. You dip it in water and you shake it. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, baby. And. It's very murky and you see a gold thing over there. You dip it in water a little bit so you can clearly see it. You make a, and you like drop the extra water and you pull it towards yourself like this. And this will make it very easy to, for you to pick up the shit. So that was like 0 0.002 ounces, very low amounts. And with this, what we are doing right now with the hog pan, like digging whole dirt and putting it in the bucket and taking all this thing this is like the this is the way you check whether there is uh, gold in the, in the thing or not this is not how you should really do i am actually considering yeah i am actually gonna do this because otherwise this is this is gonna take forever and the first time i played this i, I did, did this like i did uh, exactly this thing like i did so much digging and so much uh, this thing like putting manual so much manual labor and i spent like two days and i got close to point point something like it was minuscule it was useless so the best thing is to get machinery in here because that's how you're gonna make start making a decent amount of money uh so since it's not too murky and I can see the gold, I'll bring it closer to me. Drop these rocks so it's easier for me to pick up the gold. This guy I was watching, he couldn't do this. Like he couldn't figure it out, even though he was like playing for a quite a bit. And he couldn't figure it out how to do this. And I figured it out like within like 15 to 20 minutes. I figured it out how to exactly do this. So I don't know how. I mean, I guess he was in a hurry to take the part. Right? So that's why instead of criticizing him in the comment section, I decided, nah, I just, I'll just do it myself. And other people are like not showing this sort of a thing. They're straight up going for, obviously they're going for the machines and stuff, which is understandable. Because this is like painfully, painfully slow. Okay, so that's how it's done. So since we're done, uh, just wanted to show you guys how it's done and then we can go over here there's a there's these things which you can unlock this you can pay to unlock this you can pay to unlock this is coming soon coming soon coming soon this is the bank you can actually take loans from here and uh, i think I'm, i might actually take a loan of thousand huh? no maybe i'll take a loan of two thousand and number of installments you can pay the pay off the loan now but earlier you couldn't pay off the loan so you should, if you take a 16 60 day a 60 installment is basically 60 days every day you'll pay you'll pay yeah, 42 dollars so uh, we're gonna take this loan uh, take a loan and then we're gonna, we're gonna get some very useful stuff if i had not taken a loan and i was like i kept digging and using the buckets this would have been painfully slow. Uh, let's drop these over here. To be careful, these sometimes go into the ground. Uh, let's close this. And start the engine. Let's the lock. I'm gonna go and grab some stuff. There's a lot of things. 
things you can buy, a lot of things. There's not nearly enough, but still, I, I, it's gonna come soon. Those things are gonna come soon. Hopefully, it's not DLC or anything that would piss me off because I don't wanna, I don't like DLCs. And I was actually gonna buy the season pass, but I decided to cancel it because I couldn't see anything that said there's gonna be DLCs. So if they if they introduce new new vehicles and those are DLCs, I'm gonna be pissed. Cosmetic DLCs by complete can understand, but you know important features that are DLCs is kind of it gives other players advantages. Is, Basically, if you want to win, you have to pay. That is not something I like. Let's go. 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 let us go and another time I hit a tree and I pretty much flew up into there. Oh no 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 no! I actually hit a tiny as rock and I flew up into the stratosphere and had to restart the game. Another time I was stuck uh, in a strange way and I couldn't do anything. But now I know that there is an option to do something about that. If you press tab, you will see this reset button. I did not know what it did. I thought it reset the game, but now I know what it does. It actually, when you get stuck, you can press that and you get. Uh, it basically resets your position, which is a very good thing. I wish I knew it before we start to poison it. Okay, let's go here. Last fall, break. Okay. Uh, we need some stuff. Uh, so these are the things you can buy a trailer. That's for thousand dollars, and we're not gonna spend that much. Uh, this thing, this is very useful, very very useful. You can see, you can see the artifacts, right? The blue thing that comes up. Water pump, uh, mobile generator, no, we're not gonna do those right now. We're gonna take the hog band core, which is $50, and we're gonna take this $50. And what else? What else do we need? We need mats. We need two mats. Uh, right now, we're not gonna spend too much. We're gonna spend a little amount. Uh, we need those. What else do we need? Uh, you know what? A hog band with a this thing is very useful since I've bought it. 200 and then this is 100. Yeah, so basically, this is a this is where you have to manually put the soil and manually put the water, and uh, the water drips. And like, this, you put these mats in here, and uh, the gold gets connected on it. Uh, so that's that's it's still very manual, but just since I have the money, I can just skip over to this thing and you need pumps and stuff for it uh, pump for it and it will automatically do the watering for you all you have to do is dig and uh, pour dirt into it so I think I'm gonna do that because if you wanna see some other stuff uh, you can actually see it in other places uh, other people are doing it and since I've taken a loan I don't wanna uh, so, so uh, can I Pumps and stuff. Let's take these minutes. If you can take all of them at once, but you can't. You have to do it one at a time, which is extremely annoying and time consuming. Time which I don't have. I was thinking about taking a trailer, but it's like a thousand bucks and I don't want to buy it. Something that costs that much. Uh, put it over here. Magically. Once you once you start the car, those things like stick. They don't move too much. Okay, so we're gonna buy the hog pump. Uh, hog pan with the pump. We're gonna buy the sluice box extension. And we're gonna need a pump. I don't think we need a generator. Uh, I don't think we need a generator. We're gonna buy a pump. And since we bought a pump, we need to feed it uh, water. And to feed water, you need a fat hose and to pull water out. This thing, one is good. And there are other things you can buy, work lights, but they're not going to bother with things right now. Anything else? We need buckets. Do we need buckets? No, we don't need buckets. Right, uh, we do need this. 
Uh, maybe I'll buy two of those. Okay, let's buy these and we need to fuel these guys as well. Also, we need to fuel our own truck. Let's go, we are down to 1400. Good thing is our loan payments are very low. $40 per day. Let's take the big thing. Put it in here. Hopefully it balances itself. Put the pipe in here. Put the hot pump in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do accents now because apparently doing accents gets you viewers as well. So I'll do that and I will do it in an accent so I can get more views because I'm desperate. I'm desperate for views and do anything. If I had boobs, I would show them to you. <laughs> oh shit, what? No. No. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Skills. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, start the engine, release the brake, reverse. Uh, we need the uh, sensor tanks over there. Let's see. Um, the thingy, the thing, I don't know. Uh, fuel, fuel in places over there. Let's go fill up things. Oh, 75. That's going too fast. Slow down. Slow down. So, shit, shit, shit. Break and Okay. Shit. Okay. Where did that thing come? Oh, this thing. Things like one here. And this thing fall. One here. And then it's not going to be Okay, let's open these. Open this thing. Open this thing. I wish I had started recording this earlier because this is a really really fun this is extremely fun 40 lovely 40 and hopefully that doesn't if it falls off the fuel doesn't come out uh, I know I can fuel it from here but for whatever reasons I can't okay let's pick this up and close it close did I open it or close it it's uh, what it says open when it's closing actually I'll just put it over here because once you start driving the things don't actually move at all. So far things. Uh, open this. Pick this up and shove it over here. So do, do we want a full tank? How much money do we have? We have 1400. Right, cool. uh, still I don't want to fill it, fill it completely. Put very quick on them. In case you guys don't know what very quick is, it's a strong adhesive. Um, sure it. It's just one. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to come over here later on. Let me show you. Over here. There's like heavy machinery over there. In my other save, I actually have that small excavator. But for whatever reasons, the, the game is the, the game has a few bugs. So one of the bugs is I can't use the wave table for whatever reasons. I have water connected to it, I have electricity connected to it, but I can't use it. It doesn't work. It doesn't accept water. It doesn't like my water. Listen to that. Good thing is I don't have to turn off the music. I will turn the music off in the next second part, but right now I don't have to because eh, I don't really care about monetization that much. So I can keep it. They can copyright it, whatever. As long as they allow me to have the game play on here. So, uh, this, is, this is the beautiful thing about the new things that they have done. They allow you to keep the video. Only they are, now you don't own the rights to the video, but whatever. I don't really care. I just want people to watch my videos and stuff. That gives me pleasure. The more people watch it, the more, I, more fun it's, it's a great thing to explain. If you make videos, you know. I once had a video which was like, at least a hundred thousand views, but I deleted it. It was a simple video, a long time ago when YouTube was new, in like 2008 or something. I made a slideshow video with Google, uh, what was it, Picasa? Uh, 
made a slideshow with the top 10 cars and it got a lot of views and I was so excited to see what was happening. It was very, very pleasurable. Okay, stop. Off. Damn it, I'm like 24 minutes. Alright, I think uh, I'm gonna cut this part over here and we're gonna come back in the second part and I'm gonna assemble all these, alright? So I hope you guys watched the second episode. Uh, we have so much work to do and we have so much to We have like no money right now, whatever. So I hope you guys are enjoying this game uh, and I hope uh, you guys should really watch the second part as well because that's when the real fun starts right now we didn't do anything so uh, I hope you guys come back again I hope you guys have a great day good luck with whatever you're doing I'll see you guys in the next part until then guys take care and as always take it easy